95.5. Kayla West, Melissa Matz with Duff McKagan, and we're going to start talking about uh, your latest project, Walking Papers, in a second. But before that, I have a really important question to ask you. Yes. <laughs> Am I the only one on the planet who didn't realize that uh, Duff Beer on The Simpsons was named after you? I, I, no, you're not. And okay. I, I just, I'm like, am I a moron? I mean, I am a moron, but I, I, I was blown away by that fact. I didn't know that was going to be such a revelation in the book. I, <laughs> it I really I was. was. Kind of stating the obvious, but yeah, a lot of people are like, no way. And then um, I started texting people just to see if, because I miss stuff, and I'm like, and everyone's like, no, Raz. So, yeah, okay, yeah. so I'm not the only one. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny little quirk in my life, right? <laughs> Does that make you cooler to your children? No. Uh, Simpsons, no. Simpsons, right? No, no, no. no, no, no. All right, so let's talk about uh, your latest project, Walking Papers. Tell me everything I need to know. Everything you need to know. Uh, Seattle guys, uh, Barrett Martin, who is in Mad Season and Screaming Trees, is the drummer, a guy I've wanted to play with since the 90s. Uh, he and I jammed like in 95 or something. And Jeff Angel, uh, we've been in here before on the morning show. He's uh, this, this guy who's like Seattle's hidden treasure. Um, and now that we've toured, we've been to Europe seven times in the last year. Wow. And did the uproar tour of the, of the States. So now he's, he's not so He's hidden. not a hidden treasure he's anymore. He's just a treasure. treasure. Yeah, and we just finished our second record over at um, Pink Duck, which is Queens of Stone Age Studio. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been playing a lot. And, and we've um, it's a really soulful... I don't, I don't even know what how do you categorize. That I band? like it. <laughs> it's like good. It's dirty blue. Yeah, dirty. It, it's it has that. I don't want to say grunge because I don't mean grunge, but it has that. I'm yeah. Make, I, I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm making faces, which no one. Well, you'll be able to see later, but the grungy, but not uh, grungy. Yeah, Barrett but is like the closest thing to like John Bonham, his drumming style, and uh, the band live just unleashes and and it for me it's got to be real and. Um, the bands that I've been in in my life. That's so far. been your thing the whole time. It's got to be real. Yeah. And it's got to be um, kind of ferocious. And, and uh, you're playing the whiskey on November 20th. We're playing the whiskey, yeah. And uh, let's play something off of the first album. It is called Capital T, 955 KLOS with Duff McKagan. <laughs> 